Hello there, and welcome to part two of the programme I've made up called What's My Team? And unfortunately for you viewers, I'm the only one allowed to have an opinion. It's a bit like Gary Neville on Monday Night Football, I suppose. If you missed my first video, you must have been living on the moon, North Korea, or even worse, Melton Mowbray. However, for those who may have missed it, you can watch it on my Facebook page at Davies Portraits Facebook, in which I've chosen my all-time Manchester United starting eleven, who I've had the privilege to see play where I introduce them through the medium of portraits I painted of them. In this video, I'll be presenting the portraits of my substitutes and the manager I've chosen to lead this dream team. So without further ado, sit back further than before, relax a bit more than before, and pour yourself another glass of sherry, and enjoy What's My Team, Part 2. This Spanish shot stopper has a face better suited to a regular from one of those bars in a Star Wars movie. But David de Guerre is no creature from outer space, but a true United legend. He may have been prone to the odd clangor, and even look like an inhabitant from that small blue planet. But despite a 12-year career in which he was voted United's Player of the Year on four occasions, and saving the club more points than I have on my Waitrose loyalty card, United discarded him into the dustbin of life, like a soiled pair of wife rams. But this is definitely a worth a gracias, senor, from me, and a place on my all-time great bench. This French fellow's name sounds like he should be playing jazz trumpet in a seedy nightclub in Gay Paris. But open trail. Patrice Evera is the versatile and adaptable defender that has made the bench as covered for my back four. He may not be no trumpet playing man, but he certainly gave me the horn. Any United player that gets sent off four times for kicking Liverpool players into row Z has to be selected in my all time great squad. It's rumoured that Nemanja Vidic, this Serbian brick wall, once ate a whole birthday cake presented by his teammates before he realised there was a stripper inside it. But Vidic was and still is regarded as one of the greatest defenders in Premier League history. I usually find fish cakes unpalatable, but when United served up this ginger ninja, it certainly whetted my appetite and put pay to this fish cakery nonsense. Scoring over 150 goals in more than 700 appearances, Skulls just missed out on being in my first team 11 midfield by a Nats knacker, but was just pipped by Charlton and Robson. Zinedine Sedan, one of the greats in modern-day football, was once asked, what does it feel like to be the best player in the world? I don't know, he said. You'd better ask Paul Scholes. That'll do for me. Don't mention it to Roy Keane that you know his middle name is Maurice, as he might just get medieval on your bottom, as Mr Keane is not renowned for his sense of humour. This psychotic Irishman, apart from being a bally good footballer, has a reputation for making his feelings well known, and in this portrait, I believe I've captured his character where he can be seen airing his views during a match, in which he appears to be saying, I say, match official, I do believe that you've made a slight faux pas in your assessment, you silly nincompoop. Every day was like a Caribbean carnival day whenever Tobago born Dwight York played for United. He may have had a set of railings that resemble a wonky line of tombstones in an old cemetery, but York was a key player in guiding United to the treble in 1999. In four years he played for United, he scored 65 goals in 152 appearances, and makes an ideal substitute if he was needed to link up midfield and the forward line. I once met this flying Dutchman when he was an after-dinner speaker at a charity event given by the Rotary Club. Laughing behind my hand, I cheekily said to him, why the long face? Imagine our amazement when he, in no uncertain terms, suggested that I should go forth and multiply. Needless to say, me and the chaps had the last laugh when I retorted, don't be rude, Van Nisselroy. When is a bin dipper not a bin dipper? Never, I hear you all cry. Except, of course, when one of them becomes the greatest ever goal scorer for Manchester United. Wayne Rooney was just an 18-year-old snot nose when United persuaded him to ditch his shell suit and come off the dole to join them. And the rest of they say is history. And if you don't know what history is, ask your granny. But on second thoughts, you'd better not, as he may have asked her out on a date at one time or another. The man I've chosen to lead this exceptional squad has to be the human hairdryer, Sir Alex Ferguson. Glaswegian-born Fergie began his working life as an apprentice as a toolmaker, and later turned professional as a footballer when he joined Glasgow Rangers. He proved to be crap at both of these trades and moved into management. His greatest achievement in Scottish football was when he led Sunday morning pubside Aberdeen to win the European Cup Winners' Cup. This success alerted United and in 1986 he was recruited by the club. He went on to be the most successful manager in not only Manchester United's history, but in the history of football as he holds the record for winning more trophies than any other manager. Well, that concludes this presentation of my substitutes for my all-time great United side. There were many great United players that probably warranted inclusion, and the debate will continue to rage on with me and the chaps from the Rotary Club. 
And, oh, and it looks like I've been given my cue to wrap up things, as I can see Sir Alex Ferguson tapping his watch like a demented lunatic. So I hope you've enjoyed these videos. If you wish to see these again, then be so kind as to follow me on my Facebook page at Davies Portraits, and likewise if you'd like to buy one of these original painted portraits, or maybe a limited edition, then you can contact me through my social pages, or my website at www.daviesportraits.co.uk where you'll not only see these portraits, but many others too. So, until next time, which realistically isn't going to happen, thank you for watching and cheerio!